Hello, this is Dr. Wynne Fippen, Professor of Plant Breeding and Genetics at Western Illinois University. In 2019, fellow researchers and I created an integrated research team focused on advancing field pennycress in the Midwest region for the production of sustainable biofuels. I prefer, or the Integrated Pennycress Research Enabling Farm and Energy Resilience Project, is a newly awarded National Institute for Food and Agriculture Coordinated Agriculture Project, or NEFA CAP project for short, that is focused on developing field pennycress, Thalaspi arvensi, as a viable new cash cover crop for the Midwest region. I prefer is a $10 million project spanning five years starting in August 2019 and concluding in July 2024. This project is a partnership of seven institutions and one private commercial partner, all focused on addressing key elements of pennycrest production for the biofuels industry. For the I Prefer project, it is a partnership between Western Illinois University in Macomb, Illinois, and seven other institutions with premier research programs ideally situated throughout the Midwest region. Partners include the University of Minnesota, University of Wisconsin at Platteville, Illinois State University, Ohio State University, the USDA ARS North Central Soil Conservation Research Lab in Morris, Minnesota, the Agricultural Utilization Research Institute, or ARI, in St. Paul, Minnesota, and our corporate partner, Covercrest Inc. in St. Louis, Missouri. The I Prefer project is coordinated through an executive leadership team and an external advisory board. For the executive leadership team, I serve as the project director with the help of Ann Kinzel as the project manager. David Mark leads the Northern Area Breeding efforts, while Scotty Wells heads up the agronomy efforts. John Sedbrook leads the Southern Breeding efforts, and Rebecca Darner leads the education and extension efforts. Chris Handel at Covercrest Inc. oversees the supply chain projects, while Bill Perry leads the ecosystem services part of the project. The advisory board consists of industry leaders, including Jerry Steiner, who is the CEO of Covercrest Inc., Steve Zonka, the executive director of CAFI, or the Commercial Aviation Alternative Fuels Initiative, Gary Hare, vice president of sales and marketing with Renewable Energy Group, Alan Weber, who's a producer and ag consultant with Mark IV, and Lauren Larkins, director of the Environmental Policy, Governmental Affairs, and Commodities Division of the Illinois Farm Bureau. The mission of the I Prefer project is to optimize off-season pennycrest oilseed production by overcoming production and supply chain bottlenecks. The primary goal of the I Prefer project is to commercially launch pennycrest as a cash cover crop in the year 2021. The I Prefer project is an integrated approach to addressing the mission of the project involving research, education, and extension outreach components. For the research component, we've identified the importance of developing both breeding lines and agronomy production protocols for the two distinct regions in the proposed pennycrest growing region. A northern region above the Illinois-Wisconsin border, including Minnesota, and a southern area consisting of Illinois and Ohio. Each area has its own unique environmental conditions and production practices that need to be taken into consideration when introducing a new crop. Our breeding and genetics team are tasked with identifying key traits for commercialization and developing advanced breeding lines for each of the production areas. The team is utilizing marker-assisted selection, mutagenesis, and CRISPR gene editing to complete integration of advanced traits into elite breeding lines. Field trials of the elite breeding lines are being conducted throughout the entire region. The agronomy team is focused on improving crop establishment in the fall, looking at technologies with interseeders to improve soil to seed contact, potential seed coat treatments, integration of pennycress into regional crop rotations, and most importantly, addressing any concerns producers may have with soybean cyst nematodes or SCN in areas in which that may be a concern. The Ecosystem Services Group will address the impact of pennycress as a cover crop on the environment of the production area, focusing on nitrogen runoff and water and soil quality. Another interesting component of this research is the impact of pennycress on pollinator health. 
Pennycress is one of the few crops that are flowering very early in the spring and may serve as a valuable resource to beneficial pollinators like the honeybee, which has been on the decline in recent years. The supply chain group is focused on addressing the needs in processing seed into oil and seed meal, determining the stability of pennycress products and byproducts, and ultimately the conversion of these products into valuable downstream commodities. The supply chain group will also assist in creating seed handling tools for producers to ensure effective seed drying and storage protocols. Studies will also be conducted on seed meal and animal feeding trials to generate data for regulatory approval. Education, extension, and outreach is a critical element at each of the collaborating institutions. Pennycrest provides many new opportunities as a new crop. To help raise awareness, train a skilled workforce, and enhance and inform Pennycrest adoption, the iPrefer project is providing research-based information to producers on the advances in variety development, cropping systems, seed drying and storage protocols, production economies, and conservation benefits. The I Prefer team is also engaging in 4-H and FFA youth, parents and administrators, and the public through presentations and demonstrations, aligning with developing Pennycrest-based projects for youth to show at county and state fairs and conventions. Each participating partner will be providing a series of field day demonstration and on-farm question and answer sessions with industry leaders. The I Prefer project is also creating numerous opportunities for graduate and undergraduate students to receive interdisciplinary research training and education through internships and course-based experiences. Much of the information I have shared with you in this video is available online at the I Prefer project website, which can be found at www.iprefercap.org. If you're interested in learning more about the I Prefer project and Pennycress in general, you can also follow us on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you would like to provide feedback, please follow the attached link to take a brief survey. Thank you.